As the 54th Inter-African Coffee Organization Annual General Assembly progresses with a mission to find solutions to the issues affecting coffee production on the continent, in Uganda, focus is being placed on streamlining regulatory environment related to the crop. The Uganda Agriculture Development Strategy and Investment Plan distinguish coffee as the second strategic crop after maize. We therefore have put in place a national coffee policy to guide the coffee subsector in increasing production and also productivity. However, for those on the ground, this alone is not enough. I think that is a positive gesture. But what we want to solve so is to translate and operationalize the national coffee policy into law, but also eventually implement you know, the, the policy, because the policy can only be good when it is implemented. And according to the Prime Minister, Dr. Ruhakan Rugunda, this is something that the government has in mind and is already working on. In order to operationalize this policy, a range of strategic interventions will be fully embraced by the government, the private sector, and the government partners. All these efforts will result into a dynamic, competitive, profitable, and sustainable coffee subsector. The fact that coffee wrecks in a lot of works for Uganda is undeniable, but of even more significance is that the country is yet to fully exploit the crop's full potential. Ingrid Nantege, NTV, Business.